If you take a discharge tube and fill this discharge tube with some hydrogen gas and then pass electric discharge through this hydrogen gas, what we find that the hydrogen gas will emit some different kinds of radiations. So by passing electric discharge through the hydrogen gas, the gas will emit different kinds of radiations. These type of radiations that you get from the hydrogen gas, when we analyze those radiations through, the, you know, by using uh, their diffraction grating, we find a particular spectrum. We see a spectrum, you know, the spectrum actually tells us what kind of different frequencies are actually being emitted by the hydrogen gas. And on analyzing the different types of radiations here, we find the spectrum is somewhat like this, which actually includes the radiations, uh, you know, belonging to the ultraviolet region, visible spectrum, and the IR radiation. So the point here is that hydrogen gas, when, uh, you know, we pass a current through it, emits the radiations of UV region, visible, you know, region, and the IR region. Now let's try to understand the concept a little deeper. The hydrogen gas that we take here in a discharge tube and when we pass electric discharge, basically we are dissociating the hydrogen gas in, uh, in this discharge tube into the atoms by using the electrical energy, correct? So the hydrogen molecule actually now dissociates into atomic state. So the H2 molecule dissociates into hydrogen atoms by the electrical energy. And the electrons actually present in these hydrogen atoms are getting excited. You know the ground state for the hydrogen atom is N1. We have a one electron in the hydrogen atom that is present in the first energy level N1. But now the electrons are getting excited from the N1 state to the higher energy states. They can go to the second, third, fourth, fifth. So after exciting the electron from in the hydrogen atom, we know the electron in the excited state is unstable. So it will always try to come back to the ground state to attain the stability. So the electron present in an excited state will always try to come back to the ground state. And when electron makes a jump from a higher energy you know, level to the lower energy level, it will always emit different kinds of radiations. And the frequency of this particular radiation which is being emitted here, when electron jumps back from the excited state to the ground state, that frequency depends on the energy gap. So this delta E over here, the difference in the energy between the two states will determine the frequency. If the delta E is more, frequency will be more. So the frequency of the radiation depends on the energy difference between the ground state and the excited state. So therefore, if we have an electron, let's suppose in any higher shell, let's suppose this is our N1, the first energy level, this is our second energy level, this is the third energy level, this is the fourth energy level. And let's suppose, for example, the electron is present over here in the fourth energy level, correct? And this is our fifth energy level. And let's suppose we have excited electron in the hydrogen atom from one to the fourth state. Now the electron is present in the fourth st energy state. The electron in the, in the fourth energy state has, uh, you know, it has to come back to the ground state. Only then it will be stable. Now it has so many options, you know, uh, to come back to the ground state. Number one will be for this particular electron, I think this electron can directly make a jump from the fourth energy level to the first energy level. Right, that's one, you know, possibility. So therefore it will emit a particular frequency here. The other option for this electron is that it can go back, you know, it can, it can come first to the third energy level and then third to the second and then second to the first energy level. So again, in this process, it can emit different kinds of frequencies here. The frequency here 
will be different than this one and this one. So always it will emit different types of frequencies. Or this particular electron which is present in the fourth shell can either directly come to the first second, right? It can go from fourth energy level to the second energy level. Again here the frequency will be again a different frequency here, right? Or it can first, you know, come back, it can come to third energy level and then it can make a jump from third energy level directly to the four, you know, first energy level. So the point here is what you know the point that I want to make here is that electron in a particular energy level has so many options to come back to the ground state to calculate the different kinds of frequencies you know in this particular condition when we have electron in the fourth state you can just see it will emit different types of radiations you know one this is the frequency one two three four five and six so I think these are the four different you know, six different types of frequencies that this particular electron can emit. In the same way, if we have electrons suppose present in the fifth energy state or it is present in the third energy state, again it can make, it can make so many different kinds of jumps. So that means it will emit different types of frequencies while coming to the ground state. Now, we have a formula that will help us to understand this point here. You know, how many different types of frequencies will be emitted. And we have a formula to calculate the number of, the number of frequencies, you know, the number of different uh, lines that electron can, you know, emit while coming back to the ground state will be equal to n into n minus one divided by two. So with this formula, we can actually calculate Suppose, for example, say for example, we have an electron present in the third energy level. The n is 3 here. Now, it means that electron is present in the third, you know, uh, orbit and it can come back to the ground state either making a one jump from here, from 3 to 1, or it can go first to the second and from second to the first. So, again, it will now emit three different kinds of frequencies. So, if I use this particular formula, it will be n here is 3 into 2 now by 2. So it is 6 by th uh, 2, that is 3. That means it will emit three different types of frequency. This is the frequency 1, this is the frequency second, this is the frequency. So three different kinds of frequencies will be emitted when electron is present in the third energy orbit. In the same way, we can calculate it for the fourth energy, you know, uh, for the electron present in the fourth orbit here. So if the electron is present in the fourth orbit here, we can say the different spectral lines possible here will be 4 into 3 divided by 2. So that is 6, right? So that means it can emit 6 different kinds of frequencies here when electron is present in the fourth energy orbit. So that means in a hydrogen gas when we excite the electrons, you know when we have a hydrogen gas in a discharge tube and we we pass an electric current, what happens there? The hydrogen molecule actually breaks down into atomic hydrogen, right? The H2 molecule breaks down into the hydrogen atom and the electrons are getting excited to the different energy levels here. Now those different uh, energy levels, when electrons are present in the different you know, uh, energy levels, they will emit a different kinds of frequencies and we have just calculated how many possibilities are there for a one electron which is present in a particular high energy orbit. So the different types of frequencies which are being emitted by the hydrogen atom, we classify them into different categories here. Number one is the Lyman series, the Baumer series here, the Paschen series and the Bracket series. And there's a one more which is called the Fun series. Lyman series is when we have an electron in any higher shell, and it makes a jump to the first energy level, correct? That is called as a Lyman series here. So Lyman series means when electron makes a jump from any higher shell, you know, if it is present the second energy level, third energy level, or it's present the fourth or fifth or so on. So when electron makes a jump from any higher shell to the first energy level, the frequencies that are being emitted here, we classify them, we categorize them into the Lyman series here. 
So here the Lyman series is when electron makes a jump from any higher shell to we can say the N1. That is the Lehman series. So the second series here is the Bolmer series. Here in this case, when electron makes a jump from any higher shell to the second energy level, right? Suppose you know if it if it jumps from third to second, four to second, fifth to second. So from any higher shell, correct? Any higher shell to the second energy level. So I can say when electron jumps from any higher shell up to n2. That means it can go from n3 to 3 to 2, 4 to 2, 5 to 2, like that. You know, when it enters from any higher orbit, any higher energy level to the second energy level, all those different kinds of radiations which have been emitted here will belong to the Bolmer series. And then we have a Pastian series. Pastian is when electron makes a jump from any higher shell to the third energy level. So I can say when electron jumps from a third energy level to the uh, from any higher shell to the third energy level is the Pastian series. And then we have a bracket series. Again, you know, similarly if we have electron present in the fifth shell here, you know, if it, if it makes a jump from fifth to the fourth energy level, right, five to four, you can say six to four or seven to four or from any higher energy level up to the fourth level right so that is the bracket series from any higher shell up to n4 that's a bracket series and if it makes a jump you know if, suppose if electron is present in the sixth orbit then it will go down to for example to the fifth energy level so then it will be called uh, you know this will be this uh, region here is called as the spectrum the the series that you get here will be called as the fun series right this is the fun series. And in the fun series, we have electron making a jump from, you can say, any higher shell to N5. Right? Any higher shell to N5. And when we look at, you know, these different types of series, we see that this Lehman series is actually belongs to the ultraviolet region. The radiations, they belong to the ultraviolet high energy, so, you know, uh, range in the spectrum here and Bolmer series is basically the this is uh, belongs to the, the to the visible spectrum you know these are the lines belonging to the visible spectrum and the passion the bracket the fund all these series actually they belong to the infrared spectrum here so the point here is that when we have a hydrogen gas and if we uh, pass a you know the electric discharge that electric discharge will basically excite the electrons in the hydrogen atoms from their ground state to the higher energy levels. But in the excited states, in the higher energy levels, the electrons are unstable and they will always and always try to come back to the ground state. And when they come back to the ground state, they will emit different kinds of radiations. And those radiations which are being emitted here, we have classified them into, you can say, five different series. Lyman series, Bolmer series, Pastian, Bracket, and the Fun series. Now, we have a formula here that actually helps us to find the wave number. And from that wave number, I think you, can, you know that you can calculate the wavelength as well. We have a formula here, which is actually given by the Johannes Rydberg, right? It was the Rydberg who actually, you know, the Rydberg helped us to find the wave number basically uh, of that radiation when an electron makes a jump from any higher shell to the lower energy level. Actually put forward an equation which is 109677. This is actually a constant here, a constant. We, use, we call it as a Rydberg constant and that Rydberg constant has this much of value, right? So the uh, this is 109677 into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square per centimeter. Now this formula will help us to find the wave number of a radiation which is being emitted here. And what is this n1 and n2? n1 is basically the electron where it goes. You know, n2 is the, uh, you know, the energy level from which the electron makes a jump. Let's suppose, for example, we have electron present in the fourth energy level here, right? This is our electron present in the fourth energy level and if the electron 
present the fourth energy level goes to the second energy level so i can say here n2 in this case is 4 and n1 is 2 right n1 is 2 n1 is basically where electron goes right you have to just look at it if the electron goes to the first energy level then you can call it as a line series here so the wave number you can calculate by knowing the jump you know if electron d excites from suppose fourth to the second energy level right so here in this case now when you use this equation you can see n1 is 2 so it, it will be 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 4 square and 2 here is 4 and 1 is where the electron goes and n2 is the energy level from which it comes 